Hi, this is Frida. I would like to show you how to crochet this uh, pattern. It is from a bedspread. It is an old pattern. It is uh, crocheted with popcorn stitches. This is one of the motifs that I have started. So let's get started to crochet to show you how to crochet the um, the second motif. I will be also attaching from the edges as we go along. So let's get started. For this uh, pattern I've been, I will be crocheting with this yarn. It is a lace yarn. It is uh, a Super Angora. The brown is Nako. The yarn is made in Turkey. And uh, it is a goat Angora yarn. And uh, this, the needle that I'm going to be using is a 3.5 needle as it says on the label. So let's get started. What we need to do is chain total of five one two three four five we will be joining with a slip stitch chain total of five do a double crochet move this yarn here. Okay, so this uh, chain that we did five, the three chain will be considered as one double crochet and the remaining would be two chain. So chain two, double crochet. Chain two, double crochet. So we're going to be having a total of eight double crochets in the middle. So continue chaining two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So there's a total of two, four, six, two more to go. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, Double crochet. So there's a total of eight. Chain two. S single crochet. Chain three. Double crochet. Total of four. So this chain will consider it as one double crochet. So we're going to be doing popcorn stitches. The popcorn stitch is done with uh, five double crochets. So I have one, two, three, four, five. We leave the stitch, we go back to the first one, and then grab the stitch, just pull it like that, and chain total of three. Okay, we're gonna be doing 12 uh, popcorn stitches. For unfortunately, there won't, there is no room to do total of 12. There's room to do 8. So we need to squeeze four uh, full four popcorn stitches in between. So it won't uh, will be more comfortable. So what, what I did is I just grabbed here and we're going to be doing a popcorn stitch here. So five, do five double crochets there. Two, three, four, five, leave that stitch, loop, and then come back here, and just grab it back again and just gently pull it. This is how you make the popcorn stitch and you just secure it, chain total of three, and then here we're going to be doing five double crochets and turning it to a popcorn stitch. Two, 
three, four, five. So go back, grab that, chain three. Okay, so continue doing that. Total of 12 popcorn stitches. And I'll meet you here. I finished the 12 popcorn stitch. So, for, so far it will look like this. So we're going to be continuing the following row with popcorn stitches. But this time we will be making total of 18 popcorn stitches on the following row. Chain 3. And we're going to be starting from here. We're going to be jumping all the way here. So single crochet. Chain three, that would be considered considered as one double crochet. So fill out with a total of four. With the chain, it would be five. Grab the stitch and secure it with three chains. We're going to be going to the following. Double crochet total of five, three, four, five, and leave it there and go back to the beginning where we started. Just put it like that. Your crochet hook and grab it and secure with a chain and total of three chains. We did total of 12 double crochets to do the 16. We need to squeeze four more uh, popcorn stitches. To do that, we're going to be making a popcorn st stitches between, as we did on the prior row. So double crochet five times onto that loop. Three. Four, five, and grab it from here and secure with the chain with a total of three chains. And continue on and I'll meet you here. Okay, so uh, what I did is I did total of 18. Before I said 16, I do apologize. There's a total of 18 popcorn stitches on the second popcorn row. So we did five chain. We filled it with a total of eight double crochets. And then the following row we did is a total of 12 popcorn stitches, three uh, chains in the middle. And on the following row, we did a total of 18 popcorn stitches. So for the next row where we are going to be double crocheting. Total of uh, 5 where we did the chains. We're going to be crocheting total of 5. So chain 3, single crochet, chain 3, that that will be considered considered as one double crochet. And two, three, four, five. We're not going to be doing a popcorn stitch. We are not. So we're going to continue on doing five double crochets. So continue doing this all the way around and I'll meet you way back here. Okay, so I did all the way around crocheting. For the following row we are going to be doing a total of 36. Remember we had 18 here so we're doubling. Double, double, double. Okay, so we're going to be joining here with a single single crochet, chain 5, Three, four, five, and 
going to be jumping between. So to do this, we need to do a total of 36 of this. To do that, you need to count very carefully. You can skip like we did. We skipped a total of two double crochets and single crochet. So we can single crochet three, skipping the three. One, two, three, four, five. We're, going, we're doing this part. So it has to be a total of 36 around. So continue crocheting like this. One, two, three, four, five. Total of 36, and I'll meet you here at the beginning. Okay, so I did total of 36. And I'm going to be doing three more rows of the chain and then a single crochet. Okay, we, remember we did five chain here. So on the second row we're going to be doing six. On the third row we're going to be doing five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to increase, we're going to increase every row one add extra chain. Four, five, six, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet like this and continue on crocheting three more rows like this. One, two, three, four, total of it's going to be four rows and I'll meet you on the fourth row where we began and after that we'll be joining the two motifs. Okay, I'll see you later. So I have crocheted a total of four roses of uh, single crochet, then chain five single crochet, and the second row was six, chain seven and eight. Okay, so before I come to the beginning where we started, I'm going to be joining these total of four, as you can see, to do that. We're going to be chaining four. Remember, we're supposed to be chaining a total of eight uh, stitches, eight chain. So when you chain four, just grab it. Doesn't matter because this is uh, the first time we're joining. It doesn't ma matter where we uh, where we join. So chain four, and then just grab the middle single crochet, chain four, and then go down here. So again, chain four, three, four, single crochet, the middle, chain four, three, four, Continue single crochet. So we attach a total of two here. We need to do two more. One, two, three, four. Grab the next one. Single crochet. Oh, that's too loose. Okay, tighten a little bit. Single crochet in the middle. Chain four. Chain four, single crochet. So we have a total of three. This would be the last joining. Chain four and single crochet 
to the last one. As you can see, we have joined a total of four. And this is how we join the two motifs. And then the more you make, you join one here, total of four, join another here, total of four, and the between would be, we're going to be, I'll be showing you how to do the, the single motif here. If you go back to the picture at the beginning, how the uh, there's a picture of the bed spread, there's a little motif here. To do that, I'm just going to cut this off and then tighten it and then I'll be weaving this hide it on the back okay okay uh, let's start chain so we're going to be chaining total of five stitches. One, two, three. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to be chaining total of ten. this okay so we're going to be joining okay so we're going to be joining a total of five so remember we did this last joint here I'm going to count from there one two three four five Okay, so, oops, lost my space, place, so one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet here, and chain ten again. Then go back here and single crochet and then chain 10 again. Okay, single crochet to this next one, ten, chain 10 again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and single crochet. This is how it will look. Oh, I turned my work. This isn't going to work. Let's go and unravel. It's, it doesn't look good. Okay, see, I twisted it while I was joining. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so I'm just going to unravel. Be careful not to twist your work. Okay. See? I twisted it. It's supposed to be the other way. Okay, so... Hold this. Turn this work like that. And have it this way. Single crochet. Okay, let's count again. I don't want to lose my space here. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. Be careful not to twist your work again <laughs> like I did. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what happened here. Looks like I didn't chain well. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Oh, oh, it's turning again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, what we did is we chained total of five, single crocheted, and then chain total of ten and joint here, chain ten again single crochet back to the loop, the chain 10 again and we're going to be joining the second one and then joint with a single crochet and then chain 10 again, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then joint with the single crochet Chain 10 again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Joint back here. Single crochet. Chain 10 again. 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. Single crochet. Okay, so we did a total of three here. We're going to be doing two more. Okay, so I'm going to be joining the last fifth one. So chain 10 again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And single crochet here. Okay, so we did total of five here. One, two, three, five. We joined. This is the corner. This is going to be the corner. So we're going to be chaining ten and joining from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oopsie. <laughs> ten. Okay. You, with this pattern, you can make anything you wish. Bits, bread, tablecloth, shawl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And joining back to this loop. It's going to be looking like an octopus with several arms <laughs> trying to uh, attach with the other uh, motifs. See, it? you can see it like that as well. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and join the second. So it's going to be looking like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go back and join. Six, seven. So this is the third attachment. Ten again. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for this uh, bedspread or whatever you wish you would like to crochet out of this. You make 
one one of the motifs this and one of the motifs this as uh, attaching each other again 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and drawing with the fourth chain 10 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, ten. Joint. And this is going to be the last attachment. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chain ten. And this would be done for this, for these two motifs. As we continue, we're going to be um, later on. You can continue on, but this is the this is how the main. This is how you do these uh, um, these uh, motifs. So you add another one here, and then you have add another one here. And you attach these two two motifs to this as you go ten chain attach ten chain attach so far this is how it works so you make another motif here you attach the four and then you make another motif here you attach the four and then you make this little one attaching five five here then you continue on making another motif here, another motif here, and you attach four from here and four from here, and then five from here. And this is how it will, I'm, I'm going to call this the octopus motif. This is how you add them all. And uh, this is, I just wanted to share you this lovely pattern, how it works. I think this one looks better than this one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to share you uh, how uh, to crochet this uh, lovely pattern. It is a, it is a challenge at the beginning, but uh, it is easy actually. Just a couple of rows. How you, uh, how you start with chain five and then double crochet eight times with chain two in the middle, and then you continue doing the popcorn stitch two rows, and then you do the double crochet all the way around, and then you do four rows of this uh, single crochet chain five and then chain six the second row chain seven and then chain eight the, the last fourth row um, I hope uh, this tutorial helps you how to crochet this pattern as, as I said before you can crochet anything you wish with this pattern a tablecloth bedspread anything shawls and I hope you like it if you have any comments please leave them below uh, thank you very much for watching my tutorials. Please uh, like them, share them with your family and friends. Do not forget to subscribe. Uh, I will be making more uh, tutorials on uh, different projects as I go. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.